Yeah, you guys can go. You guys can go. I don't know why that's not working, but... Three, two, one, Couldn't start commentating the match, I guess. So these guys played, uh... They played last week. Or... Yeah, was it last week? Yeah, it was last week. Uh, cause Dark, uh, Dark Double eliminated me. I mean, he hadn't... He hadn't scored the upset on me in a long time. But... Robert showed he, how good he is at this matchup and double eliminated Dark. It's interesting because uh, this is this is Dark's matchup, right? The uh, Falcon Pika. He always he'll say Pika is easy. It's kind of like his catchphrase. Well, this the, is probably the reason a lot of players pick up Falcon in the first place. Yeah, for, you know, for well, they like Falcon because he's fast and he has you know easy combos. To combos. Yeah, yeah. They, I don't think they pick him specifically because he has easier combos, but like. That's really why they're picking him, because they like combos, and his happen to be easier. Oh. The Dark plays, honestly, like, lately he's been playing pretty aggressive. When he does well, it's his patient style, you know? He's not going to run in. He's going to let you come to him. See, now, I think right there he wanted to go for an up air followed by a down air. Uh, perhaps. Oh. Well, the down air wasn't able to connect yeah. in time. Maybe if he was able to push it a little sooner. Ooh, and one of those Falcon kicks, Dark will definitely throw those out when uh, he gains himself a good amount of distance. It's a good gap closer. He's kind of got Pikachu in limbo right now at that percentage. He really yeah. wanted to finish him off before and didn't manage to pull it off. Right, he needs to get like a back throw into the down air or something. Well, back throw down air is all that Falcon needs, right? <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that the other day. Falcon did us. Back there, down there. Oh, Ooh, this is where Robert really excels. You know, matchup. I thought Dark still had a jump there. I, I did too. Maybe he used it in between. Yeah. But like Robert, he'll he has really good combo on stage combo punishes into off stage uh, edge guards, and we saw right there. I think he's probably taking some uh, some pages from your Pikachu. <laughs> no, he he. You know, he's really studies Wario. Oh, is that course. right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, who who better to study than, you know, the the guy that beat Boom, right? Or, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I'd like to think he learned some things from me, but he's well, probably... Well, if he studied that set, then he'll he'll yeah. definitely have some takeaways since this is the same matchup. Yeah, he's a good Falcon. He's probably better than me at this matchup by now. Oh, see now, Robert really could have just run off there, I think, and nared or something, but didn't go for it. Right. It worked out for him anyway. Hey, he's built himself a 3-1 lead. Dark going for a very risky yeah, smash. Oh, oh, and then I kick don't the know way. about that. He wanted to go the other way, I'm sure. And Robert's going to... I don't even know about throwing it out the other way, though. It would no. been better, but no. He's getting a little antsy. You can tell. Uh, what Dark needs to do is maintain what he was doing at the start. He needs to stay in Pika's um, bubble, sort of, and just run in and grab at the right opportunity. Right. I mean, that that's proven to work so well against even good Pikachu players. Now, a lot of good Pikachu players will stay in the air a lot and make it hard for Falcon to do that. I can't get this to work. What um, are you trying to do? Oh, well, update the, the score. The character, the score, the round. Uh, yeah, I will handle it. This is actually... Um, I believe this would be loser's quarter. Nice edge guard. Well, he lived to 71 right there. Yeah. Again, this Robert's so good at those off-stage combos. If he had, okay, he could have gone off with a down air a little faster than that. Oh, would have been a little risky. But that's the second time Dark's gone for a down air that just hasn't been close enough to Robert. <laughs> the shoulder butt. Dark makes it back on stage. Gets the up smash, reverse up air, That's but he not yeah. take him out. He didn't get the right angle to make it uh, happen. Okay, uh, this should be just right. a neutral, right? Yeah, uh, it's, I, I feel like an up B would have been more confirmed, but whatever works, right? Oh, okay, he should have this if he doesn't. Yeah. You run in, up smash, yep. and you get there a kill. Is. That's, yeah, up smash is a good approach. <laughs> Uh, it's a little inside jokes with some of the Pennsylvania guys. And, oh, no. no. Making the mistake of dashing in against Pika. 
Interesting going for the down tilt. Maybe that works a little better against that type of recovery. Right, right. I know um, forward tilt does cover a lot of um, mid to high options, but... See, I like, in that scenario, doing a down tilt, and if he fades back to avoid it, he can run off Nair. And, uh, because Falcon at that point, if he avoids the down tilt, he has to go for the ledge. Uh-oh, uh, that's the forward throw right there. Wow, but Mark managed to pull that off. Dark. Dark, sir. <laughs> Calling him you now. Yeah. That happens a lot. Um, he's trying to play peak on these platforms, but Robert's positioning himself very well. Oh, waiting for the get-up attack. That was interesting. Uh, Robert didn't wait patiently for that. That was really nice. Robert got the down air, and then it comboed into a forward tilt that got Dark off stage. And from there, Robert was able to get a clean edge guard. Okay, he's going to pull him down there here. No, nope, oh, not quite. Called him out with that. Oh, good zip zap from Robert. Ooh, this could be a chain grab, yeah. Yeah. Dark misplacing that back air. And, and the get this, up attack. This is what we saw last week, a lot That's of get up attacks. Ooh. Okay, well, he let, he let, he let uh, Dark back on, so we'll see if he has a... Ooh, plays well on his second chance here. Oh, no. Dark hit the ground, so he can still make it back. But Robert's been really good at edge guarding. Another three to one lead. He's gonna have to pull a three to one comeback if he wants to stay in. Yeah. Nobody in Baltimore ever does that. <laughs> that never happens. Oh, oh Robert boy. looks like he has control. Oh, the getup attack, but Dark did well to DI that. Um, wow. So this is really it. He's fighting on the thread here. He made it, almost made it back on the stage. Robert's really good at just pushing and applying that pressure and keeping him, even if he's not off the stage, oh. keeping him either on the edge or just restricting his movement. Wow, and Robert, two two weeks in a row, has taken down Dark. There's no slashing with the Falcons keeping matchup.